I am Tom McHale. I'm Tom McHale. This is Learning Bible with Tom McHale. And I'm here with... Charday. Charday, I know your name is Charday. Charday, who has read the Bible back to front. And she's enjoyed it. She gave it a thumbs up. I have not read the Bible. Uh, I've been pretty busy catching up on Breaking Bad. Okay. Jesus' birth. Tell me about that story. His mom was Mary. She was a virgin. Never, ever had sex before. She was with Joseph. They okay, were... so Jesus was adopted. No. No. So the Holy Spirit impregnated her with Jesus. Okay. So the angel told her she was going to have God's baby. Okay. So that's what happened. I had a cousin that was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. It was quite the family controversy. Not possible. Okay, and then at that point, Joe must have uh, looked around town for this Holy Spirit guy. No. And the they wanted to fight. came to him and told him that that was God's baby. So he was okay with it. Oh, so he's no... like, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't have sex with Mary. There's a baby inside of her. A couple <laughs> of angels come by and say, hey, no, no worries. God put the baby in there. Act cool. Take care of the baby. Make sure it has new Nikes every year for school. Pretty much. Okay. So, Mr. Holy Spirit comes in one night, and Mary's there, and they're hanging out watching some television late at night. One thing led to another, and they, they got it on together. No. Holy Spirit's a neighbor of theirs? No. God sent the Holy Spirit to just come inside of her, and that's how she got pregnant. There was no intercourse. No, no but he did come inside of her. Hmm. Okay. And he's a man. It's a man. It's a spirit. It's, it's not a, a man. It's a spirit. Yes. And he comes. He, he comes into Mary, and the, like it's raining outside, and she opens the door, and he's like, "I'm. I'm, a, I'm the Holy Spirit. I'm from God. I'm here to come inside of you." There was no conversation. There was Just no happened. conversation. Just, Just boom, the Holy Spirit comes inside of Mary, and she's pregnant. So if Mary said, like, oh, mm, Holy Spirit, I'm not too into this. I've got, uh, you know, a volleyball league coming up, and I really don't want to be pregnant right now. I'm too young. We were going to wait till later. What was, what was going to happen to her? She didn't have a choice. But if angels come to you, you'll believe, and you'll just want to go along with it. Okay. So the angels, they... It's a shock factor. Okay. So they send down some angel doctors to... No. 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 Just, like... Midwives type thing. How long was the labor? It didn't say. It didn't. It wasn't it's detailed. It's not in the Bible. Yeah, it wasn't detailed. It's a pretty big detail because my it took me forty eight hours to be birth, and my mom never stops talking about it. Did were they covered by insurance? What kind of insurance did they have? Did the Holy Spirit provide that? They didn't have insurance back then. They didn't have it, so that's quite no. the hospital bill they're stuck with at the end of this then too. No hospital bills. There was no hospital bills. Where was this place? It was a mud hut. What area? It's in Bethlehem. It's in Bethlehem. There is free hospital care in Bethlehem. Um, they probably don't call them socialists. Good to know. For people who are looking to give birth, you can go to Bethlehem. You don't have to pay for your hospital bills. Bethlehem. That's the country? That's the city. It's a city. What country? I have no clue. I have no clue. Thank you.